Oh, what is going on, everybody? Hello! It is Pixel Partners here, <laughs> and welcome back to the Great Ace Attorney. That threw you off. Yes, it did. <laughs> when we left off... Iris is now the other Pixel Partner. The case is going on through again. We got that final argument done, and then we're continuously tearing through these two... I almost said wonderful gentlemen, but they're not wonderful. They're not they're just, wonderful in the least. They're wonderfully entertaining, at least. I when it comes to when it comes to the way they act, they're entertaining when they're going off on the on the stuff guess. up there. But this is the last chance to tell the truth, and they're not going to. That's what we're gonna talk to them about. So, oh, that's loud. Whoa, whoa, whoa! <laughs> whoa. Okay, anyways, Tully, you can speak. Yeah. We've got right in the bed out of nowhere, bro. I don't know where that going. It came flying inside and I was going bro, bro, bro. What? <laughs> it was strong for an occasion, man. It's just be right into the counter. What am I going to am the old geezer around this door a minute? That's all. We ain't got nothing to do with the murder swear on me dead mum, bro. You guys are your dead mothers. I know. it. <laughs> <laughs> I've understood your testimony so far. You're saying you fought with the victim before he died? Ye ye yeah, yeah, but we're sorry. We're sorry? <laughs> it seems you two are idiots. No, the situation has changed dramatically. Yeah, think? This time I swear. We're really telling the truth. The whole truth, bro. We, we got nothing left. Now, defense, begin the cross examination. Yes, my lord. It's finally time. This is the moment I've been waiting for. He's just like, oh <laughs> Gonna rip you to shreds like paper. Mm -hmm. All right. So, when I got to the pawn shop, right, and he appeared out of nowhere. You mean he wasn't standing at the counter? <laughs> By he, do you mean the victim? Yeah, bro. Well, I mean, yes, sir. <laughs> we were keeping a proper good eye on the entrance, but we wasn't expecting someone to be in it deeper inside. In it, bro. Deeper inside? That would be the storeroom, correct? Yes, sir. I do believe we came out of that uh, room, bruv, sir. <laughs> then the victim was already inside the storeroom when you arrived. Does that mean Jing Bain was already in there, too? Doesn't that sound strange, though? She chased him into the storeroom to threaten him. Then why would he come out of the shop floor alone? Hmm. Did you see the defendant at the time? Uh, a little pickpocket bird, I don't know, bruv. This dog would really notice, innit? After all, the old geezer started kicking off straight away. And over the gun, he came flying out of his heart. We thought, I thought that's what he said when he was in the room, though, right before he did the... All right, we got it. Okay, when, when, when did this happen? I'm a bit confused here. According to your previous testimony, when he demanded the gun, he was still inside the storeroom. Hey, uh, uh, do we say that, bruv? That means he was actually demanding your gun, yeah. wasn't he? Uh, yeah, I suppose that sounds about right, isn't it? Oh my god. At that time, did the victim brandish his own revolver? Yeah, you just gonna aim the gun at us, bruv. So, you're saying that you saw Hatch holding his gun, correct? Yeah, pretty much, bruv. I run that old geezer just jump on me, bruv. Dude, you're burglars! Uh, Not being funny, I couldn't tell who was assaulting who at that point, bruv. It's pretty clear that you two were in the wrong. Anyway, I thought I was good as dead, bruv. Huh. Strong for an old geezer. Okay. Shove him onto the cat. Mmm, that's probably when the stuff moved. Yep. Is this the same kind of that you mentioned in your previous testimony? It, yeah, of course, bruv. Oh, that just fell like I was that fell. That school was rolling all over. First of all, that game clean off a photo frame fell over his scale fell on the floor. It's hard to imagine all that happening because you were surprised by a gunshot. Well, I'll tell you the truth. It was more like you threw me into it. If I went in there alone, he'd probably fat me in a three seconds, bruv. It was around the time that the yard received an alarm signal from Hatch's pawnbrokers. The security alarm installed into the counter. The victim most likely activated it. Uh, I think about it, when I ran right. outside to chase them, the police officer was already heading to the crime scene. Poor Hatchling, he was trying so hard to protect his little pawn shop. I hate that, like, whatever motion that was. He just did. <laughs> yeah. 
And then one gets her in the storeroom in it. Okay. Just leans forward with his mouth open. Were you aiming with intent to kill? No, no, no way, bruv! I just... Oh, oh. I... What? I just wanted to save Tully! It will get him flattened! Hatch was the one who needed help. God. So the victim fled after you aimed the gun at him. Y yeah, bruv. He shoved me aside and shut the showroom, storeroom door behind him. I don't know what it is, but something feels off about that testimony. Mm, I wonder why Hatchling and run into the storeroom. Huh? Remember who was inside the storeroom? Gene Bean was in there waiting to kill him, right? I wouldn't go in there. Oh, that's right. As the facts are now, Gene was threatening him with his own gun. Yeah. So why did Hatch have it? Uh, huh. That's a good point. Weird. This doesn't make much sense. You should keep this in mind. It, anyway. Yeah, we. <laughs> you know it's bad if even Iris is confused. <laughs> yeah. I ain't got nothing to do with me. Okay, sure. You swear you have nothing to do with the crime. Did that's what he said, bruv? Go there, we'll get you shot. It's out of the storeroom. He locked it from the inside, so we couldn't do nothing about it. We need to try to open it, though. But that room's like a vault. That thing didn't even budge. As you can all see, nothing has changed. Hmm. There was only one person who could have shot the victim inside the storeroom. It could only have been the defendant, Gina Lestrade. Ah. Hmm. I'm afraid I must agree. Do you have any objections, defense? I wonder. Is Gina really the only person that could have shot Hatch? I'm all, I'm all, I'm all do the old safety here. Um, I am going to say someone else did it. I mean, uh, we have to say that someone else it's did it. Too, it's uh, too bad this was before fingerprinting was a thing. I know, right? Mr. Tin Pillar. Y y you won't. <laughs> Stop glaring at us. Your biggest mistake was admitting that you ran into Hatch. That's when this trial was completely turned on its head. Aye? <laughs> what are you prattling on about now, attorney? The big question is whether or not Gina was the only one who could have shot Hatch. The defense believes that the answer is no. <laughs> He's like, seriously? Fascinating. <laughs> then let's look at this sketch one more time. The victim died inside of a storeroom that was locked from the inside. What are the possibilities can you make up in the order to explain this? Defense! The court demands answers to the following two questions. D two? Uh, that's a lot. <laughs> <laughs> the first question. Where did the killer shoot from? And the next. Where was the victim shot? Understood. You gonna be okay, Ryu? I'm not sure, but there's one thing I'm absolutely certain about. If I can present a new possibility here, the scale should tip in my favor. Fine, let's have your answers. Use this floor plan to explain your theory. Okay. So... You're not gonna read that? I won't. If you claim that someone else could have shot the victim, then where did they shoot from? Hmm. So... I will assume that the possibility we have to go with is the fact that maybe they shot him in the back as he was running back into the storeroom. Because I don't think, because I mean, I don't think we have pictures of the door, but I don't think there was anything wrong with the door because we wouldn't be able to, you know, we would have noticed a gunshot yeah. in the door. Because the way that he, the, pictures. the way that he was in the storeroom was, looked like he had just walked in there. Yeah. You know, like it looked like he had just walked in and then fell right because he, he was right there. Yeah. Because, yeah, I don't even on the picture of the, the supposedly after everything happened. Because it doesn't make there's... sense for him to be laying there if he was shot in the back and then Gina's next to him if she shot him. You know what I mean? Yeah. I think the question would be where were they at when they shot him? Cause that's what we're going with right now is where was uh where was he shot from and then where was he at? So 
Where was he shot from? Because the thing is that the only way for for that to make sense is they have to be at the side of the counter over here. Yeah. Hmm. I'm just so unsure on everything. Oof. They just kind of yeeted us in here. Um. I'm going to do another save. <laughs> in case I completely messed this up. So. Because uh, we also have this counter here, but the only way he could have been shot in the back, on the left side of his back, going in there. Yeah. Would be that he could have been shot in the back from over here on his left, I don't think. Mm -hmm. Oh, so it would have exited through, like, the side of his rib cage. Uh -huh. what, did the, uh, what did the autopsy report uh, say? Oh. I don't know how tall he is compared to the taller one, but I think the Tully might have been the one to shoot him because he's so short. Yes, because it's from a slightly upward angle, uh -huh. so the short one would have been the one that shot him. So he was the one with the gun. <laughs> All right, so... The only problem with that is that it says that he died, like, he most likely died instantly, so he wouldn't have had a chance to close the door. Yeah. But they could have closed it. But it was locked from the inside. Oh, yeah, that's true. So that creates another problem, but that's the only thing we can ah. go with. But everybody, we're going to say that we're from right there. If they shot from right here, I believe the bullet could have killed him. Put a person there, is that is that a good sign? Hmm. All right, I'll do your second answer. Who was the victim when he was shot? Well, then right here. Right, right here. Right here. I feel like the victim may have been standing here. Oh, shit. Uh-oh. This ambivalence is certainly to reveal one truth. You are a man who does not deserve to stand in this courtroom. But why not? That should be obvious. The answers you provided were insufficient. Uh. Ow. But I gave two whole answers. I gave two <laughs> Where did the killer shoot from? Where was the victim when he was shot? No matter what. You have to prove the possibility that someone other than Gene Bean shot him. Someone other than Gina? Right. What should I do? Should I try again or gather more information first? Uh. Oh, should I stop? Because, I mean, if if we're trying to go, if, from what they just said there, I mean, I don't have much information to go off of. I presented what I could with the information that we have, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Because, like, my thought would be, like, because potentially if he died instantly on the outside, the two of them could have moved the body in. But then that would make, the, I, don't, I don't know. I think I'm just going to have to say, <laughs> I think we're going to have to stop for now <laughs> and get more information. I'll rethink my answer for now. For now, you should remain forever wandering in the ancillus abyss. Labyrinth. Same thing. <laughs> <laughs> Not quite, but okay. Now let us hear the witness's testimony once more. So that's their new testimony. Looks like they really were hiding something, huh? Yeah, and a pretty major something at that. Poor Hatchling. I knew it's their fault. Let them have it for real this time, Ryu. Yeah, but right now, I feel like we have less evidence against these two than we usually should. Hmm, well, we've already come this far. Let's just go straight for them. Yeah, I'll see what I can do. I might repress since we got that extra information from one of the things. See if with repressing I have anything new against it. Yeah. I hear you mean the victim. Yeah, bro, I mean, yes, sir. Yeah, 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 yeah. Proper uh, brav. Keep runs out, that'd be the storeroom. Here we go with all this stuff. So Vinci was already in there too. That sounds strange. Jesse, why would she come out of the come to the floor alone? Hmm. Did you see the defendant at the time? Little pickpocket. Not really notice after all the old guys are kicking off. <sighs> and over the gun he came flying at us so hard we thought it was thought we was brown bread. Mm. I'm making fuse here. Going here to his testimony. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He was in the storeroom. Did we say that? Yes, you did. Time to can brandish his own revolver. Yes. So you're saying that it was that one with a gun. Pretty much. How rude. Not 
being funny. It's pretty clear that you two are wrong. Fucking hell. <sighs> right into the counter. Is this the same counter that I mentioned in the previous testimony? Yeah, of course. The ledgers, the French doll, hard to imagine all that. Security alarm. Police officers are on the scene. Huh. There's something that we're missing here, and I don't quite know what it is. Same, and I hate <laughs> it. Because it was the new information that we got from this one that I'm pretty sure that we... That, that the game said to keep in mind. Reaching with intent to kill. Yeah, bruv. Something feels off about that testimony. It's like, so yeah, I remember Gene Bean was in there waiting to kill, so, so why would he do that? There. Yeah, why would, why would Hatch have the gun also and all that, so... <sighs> These two have made a mess of things. They've made a mess of my brain. Same. So, there must be something I have to present to get more information out of them for that bullet testimony. Mm. Yeah, and over the gun, he came flying out so hard I thought it was brown bread. He strongly managed to shove me right in the, onto the counter. Because, I mean, it's not really a contradiction that, you know, with all the stuff that moved on the counter. Yeah. Well... Okay, so here's my thought. If the stuff moved... Because, like, what if they were on opposite sides of the counter? Well, I think here's what we have to go with now. Meaning, like, what if Hatch was on the side where Gina was in that picture? You know what I mean? But if they shot him, that wouldn't make sense because he would have to be by the storeroom to run in. Hmm... Especially if he died almost instantly, there would be stuff that's on the ground over there. He'd have to be True. near the storeroom for and something like that to happen. And if they moved the body, there would have been blood dragged. <laughs> most likely. I think the thought we have to go with here, now I'm thinking about it, is that the stuff moved only in the second picture. The first picture shows that Gina was there already, mm -hmm. holding the gun. Which means that if the stuff happened after this picture, then Gina had to have been there. Are you catching what I'm saying? Yeah. So I wonder where I would present that at. I think they I think said it would they, be this one. I think they also said they didn't notice Gina. But I think we have to put here, why would he... Because like Naruto said, why would he go into the storm if Gina was there? Yeah. So I'd say, I think we're on the right path, and I would say probably presenting the first picture where it shows that Gina went there. Oof. Please? Nope. Nope. That's not, that's not it. Look at his face. If a decisive contradiction is what you want, look no further than that assertion. Do you really think this is decisive? Your fingers are trembling, your face is pale, and you're sweating bullets. Are you sure? Huh? The most decisive contradiction here seems to be your own conduct. Judge is as perceptive as ever. You seem surprised. You're quite mistaken if you think your nervousness is not plain to see. Where would I fucking put that at, then? Because that's the only contradiction that I can think of with what we have. I think maybe we might testimony. be on the right track, but we just don't know how to go about it like usual. Yeah. Oh, are we going to have to look up a walkthrough? We might. No! Huh. God, I don't know. He came flying at us so hard. Let me re let me re look at this one. But if these are going to testimony when he demanded it, was he still inside the storeroom? Uh, uh, yeah, that means he was actually demanding your gun. So where did this happen? Hmm. I'm looking at this one, geezer. Hmm. Huh. They shoved me right onto the counter. 
because that would be when everything happened. Yeah. When all the stuff got knocked over. Would I present that one picture here, maybe? <laughs> I don't know. It's the same kind of thing you mentioned in your previous testimony. And... Yes, that's the stuff that where everything where all where everything fell. Uh -huh. I'm surprised by the gunshot. Like, he threw me into it. That would have to mean that they were next to him, like behind the counter with him. Huh? If they had, because I'm just gonna go through all this, because. If they were pushed into it and it knocked all of the stuff off of the storeroom, you know, all that stuff is like on is behind the counter, you know, yeah. and then on the and especially that since the stuff moved farther towards the front of the store, they would have to have been behind it. Actually, I'm actually a little confused. I mean, same, but why? Because if if uh, Temmy or Tenny, whatever is freaking Tenny, Tunny. <laughs> there we go. That's the right vowel, Tunny. Um, if he was pushed into it, that stuff is all against the storeroom door. Which means that he would have been probably the closest to the storeroom. Hmm. Because if he was knocked into all that stuff there, that was on the side closest to the door. Yeah. Maybe I'll present... His name is Tully. What do you... You said... Oh, you said, you I, said, I was said, using an N. You said Tunny. Tunny, Tenny, Tully. Their okay. names don't deserve to be remembered. It's fine. God damn it, really? What do you make of that statement? It's making us look like fools on the internet. Oh, God. I don't think there's anything wrong with it in particular. Uh... That's what I meant to say. There was nothing wrong with it at all. Hmm, I wanted to appear that the real problem here is with you. Uh, okay, calm down. Let's try thinking it over one more time. Well, you know what? I'm going to think it over the internet because I literally have no idea where to go from this anymore. Jeez. So I'm going to let the people smarter than me decide. Da -da -da. Uh. Oh, okay. I have checked with the YouTubes and it looks like we didn't need to present anything from what i saw trying to scan through it they just kind of went with this i guess that's just if you need and to so think about it more i was i was a little correct and at least assuming that the shooter was around here so from here i believe the bullet could have killed him and they, they were this, all right. yeah you were right in the fact that they were on the other side the, of the thing count. that i wasn't quite right about was where hatch was apparently it was inside the storeroom which is what i had thought I guess the door must have open and they had to close it, but I did, that creates more issues with all this. The murderer shot the victim from outside the storeroom door. Continue. Hatch died instantly after being shot in the back. From what we can see the blood stains, the body doesn't seem to have been moved. Yep, I said that too. In other too. words, there's no doubt that Hatch was shot in the storeroom. But the important part is where the shooter was. You mean to say that the shooter wasn't inside the storeroom? According to the Tin Pillar's earlier testimony. Why am I going to my gold gaze around the store a minute? Pay close attention to this part. He ran into the storeroom. At that point, the door must have been open. Oh! The victim turned away from these witnesses as he ran into the storeroom. When he was running away, anyone in the shop could have shot him in the back. Yeah. <laughs> no. Come to think of it, Mr. Prosecutor said something about that. Going to the coroner's analysis, the gun was aimed slightly upward. It would mean that the victim was shot by someone shorter than him. Looking at you, Tully. <laughs> Poor Hatchling got shot when he was running for his life. Oh, but that's it. When you run, your body leans forward. So even if the killer was the same height as him, the bullet would still enter upward. That means the killer doesn't have to be a shorty. Okay, that too. I find it hard to believe that you've already forgotten this. The storeroom door was shut and subsequently locked from the inside. If the victim died instantly, how would he have locked the door? 
You know what the answer is? Gina. Gina locked it. She was inside there and watched him die and fall inside and to protect herself, closed it and locked it so they couldn't come and go in and find her. That's a good answer. I don't know why she'd be passed out, though. That, that that's, a, that's another question, With I the suppose. gun in her hand. Maybe passed out from... Stri stri you know, that's another With the gun problem. gun in her hand. But, uh, uh, but, 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 but if the locked door is the only problem here, then I can think of one person who could have locked the door afterwards. What? Gina. <laughs> now the court requests to hear the defense's thoughts, according to the theory you've presented. The bullet was fired from outside the storeroom. Who was it then that locked the storeroom door from the inside? Gene Bean. Naturally, the person who locked the door was the other person inside the storeroom. It was the defendant, Gina Lestrade. <laughs> Blasphemy. <laughs> the defendant shut herself into the locked room with the victim. There was no reason for her to do so. Dude, she just saw something. The only thing she could achieve it would have been to cast suspicion upon herself. A, a fair point. What say you, defense? Uh, about that. This is a bit of a problem, huh? Come on, dog. Uh, make sure you think before you raise your hand. So why did Jimmy lock the door? I think the answer's rather obvious. Uh, Iris? Well, if I were Jean Bean, pretty sure I would have locked the door too, and in a pretty big hurry at that. After all, she had just been shot at by two bad guys. Oh, of course. Guess where the incident occurred, Hatch and Gina were inside the storeroom. I don't quite know what happened while they were in there, but Hatch must have noticed the intruders and left the storeroom. Intruders? You mean us all again, yeah? So the defendant was left alone in the storeroom. Yes, I believe so. And when Hatch finally ran back... He was shot in the back and ended up collapsing into the storeroom. What do you think Gina did then? Oh, you, you wait! There was a frightening murderer outside who had just shot Hatch. Fearing death, Gina quickly shut the door and locked it. In order to protect herself. Hmm? Whoa! Uh, but, but, but we, I mean, we are the murderers! Swear to go, bruv, we won't shoot nobody or nothing, but you did! But you really did shoot someone, didn't you? I saw the moment in which you shot Mr. Sherlock Holmes. Oh! <laughs> From your silence, we can only draw one conclusion. Ten pillars. It is entirely possible you two could have committed the crime. Wait, oh, you... I, you, what... Wait! You want my... <laughs> they really did that. What's the meaning of this? The one who shot the palmer was a big burger. You did it, Ryu! Everyone in the jury's on our side now! Yeah, I see this is so unprecedented that I doubt it'll happen again. Uh, glad to hear that. If we keep this up, we'll have that not guilty verdict in no time. Here he comes. Uh-oh. <laughs> A job well done, attorney. Why? <laughs> Why? <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why is he laughing? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Do you have something to say, Lord Van Zeeks? I do believe that the defense's theory was rather sound. Same. Most likely. This is how Asian street performers fool their customers. I... A malicious distraction, one might call this an outrageous offense. What? 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 What do you want this about? This theory of yours made no sense to begin with. Huh? Naturally, that's because it is contradictory. How? C contradictory? You really haven't realized? No. But pardon me, Lord Van Zeeks. Could you put a chance to explain this malicious direction to us? Contradiction is exceedingly simple. It's related to the number of bullets fired. Why? <laughs> the number of bullets? Why? <laughs> Where? Oh. <laughs> How? <laughs> Who? <laughs> Should have known that this prosecutor wouldn't overlook a detail like that. Uh huh. What are they talking about? Attorney. <laughs> Sir! Remind me how many bullets were found at the crime scene? Um, two, I believe. Correct. One struck the victim in the back and killed him. Yeah, that the sham detective Sherlock Holmes sham? that they arrived on the scene. Watch your face! Damn. 
Indeed. The hole created by this bullet was shown in the photo the defense submitted earlier. Your face is a sham. The bullet that hit Mr. Holmes passed through his flesh and hit the calendar. I don't like thinking about that. <sighs> Correct. Thus the number of guns fired equals two. The victim's gun and the tin pillar's gun. Traces reveal that each gun was fired only once. Uh, only once? You are indeed correct. By the way, attorney. Huh? <laughs> you said it yourself, didn't you? These two men shot Sherlock Holmes right before your eyes. Uh, y yes, sir. I hey, slow down. There's a gun used to show Mr. Holmes only fired once. Then there's no way it could have been used to shoot the pawnbroker. Exactly. Yet this je yes, this Japanese boy has indeed presented a certain possibility, but that possibility was at a zero percent chance from the very beginning. Oh uh, no! Whew. You're not wrong. You just hate that you're not wrong. Yeah. <laughs> order, order, order. Yeet. Yeet. <laughs> <laughs> How could you fucking do that? Christ. <laughs> Call 911. <laughs> Help you for me to toss his divine butt into the gallery. I plead your forgiveness. Lord, Lord Van Zeek. Ladies and gentlemen of the Crown Court, let me make this abundantly clear once more. The defendant, Jean Lestrade, is no normal girl. Her age may make her legally a child, but unfortunately... She is not an upstanding Londoner. She is a black-hearted criminal. Mm. She broke into Hatch's pawnbrokers with malicious intent. As you can see here, she's aiming a gun at the victim. Uh-oh. And now I have one more thing that I wish to show oh. you. It's the disc. He's been saving this. Sorry, we're taking cause we got it you hand in all of that's mine! Sorry, little girl. I have to take all of my girl's belongings for some minutes. The Gundle's music box disc. Day before the crime, the defendant attempted to pilfer this from Hatch's pawnbrokers. But she didn't resort to her usual methods, though no, she was more akin to fraud. For what? To sympathize with her because she is a child would only set us up for failure. She has proven that she was fully capable of committing crimes when push comes to shove. Do not forget this. Hmm, I see. The court will accept this disc into evidence to serve as a reminder of the true nature of a defendant. True nature? Oh. Come on, we love Whoa. What? what is he doing? What? Yes, this point joined meeting with our young prosecutor's office. I believe we came to the agreement that this should not be submitted as evidence. What's going on here? Yeah. Never seen Inspector Gregson try to stop Prosecutor Van Zeeks like this. Nobody told me about this meeting. But, but the government requests that. I am the only man who can decide where this trial goes. Jesus. I appreciate your warning, Inspector Gregson. Ah. Uh. Now, my lord, this disc will be submitted as evidence. Wow. R understood. The court accepts. Judge is shook <laughs> right now. Why would Scotland Yard want to stop that from becoming a part of this? The accused opportunity for murder, her motive, and a capacity for criminal action. Capacity. You mean capacity? <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> of the above been made clear for the court to see. Now, I want to see something quick. Because since that was taken, we never got to test this. Oh, yeah. I agree. Isn't this... Blood? It's blood, no, right? blood. It's blood, right? Oh, <laughs> it is. That's just a tiny little smudge. Now that she mentions it. All right. Time to take this girl for a while. Sure has been a while. All right. We need to see okay, what the Ryu. truth is here. No, keep that disc really, really still. Oh, okay. Please just get it over with. Right. Now let's do it. Oh. 
That... <laughs> Just love how pretty these colors come out every time. Uh... Okay, so I, our blood colors need to be wrong. Because otherwise, that would be Sherlock's blood. Yeah. Which wouldn't make sense. No. Wait. What? Wait. What? What? You remember where that blood came from, right? Uh-huh. Whose blood was that? That was, uh, that was Egg's, wasn't it? Was it was Egg's blood. Egg Benedict. He's the one that cut his disc on the hand when he grabbed it. You, he cut his disc on the hand? I thought he said cut his hand on the disc. You said, he, you said disc on the hand. Fuck. <laughs> 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 but we, we know what you meant. Uh, this color... What's wrong, Ree? Uh, nothing, but this shade of green, I feel like I've seen it somewhere before. Yeah. Yeah, let's, uh, I'm gonna confirm that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back here and let's go to the blood samples. Yeah, because it's the green that was over there that we thought was Sherlock's because. Yeah, because he got shot. But that's entirely different. Huh. Let's say, so we can't. Grant, to be fair, it was still question marks at the time being anyways, but... Welp, next time, <laughs> we're going to see what path this takes us down. Good lord. Egg, we're looking at you. Egg there's, face. There's about to be egg on your face. 